guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are gonna be reviewing the new Patrick Ta Major Volume Lip Plumping Gloss. I got the color Full Syringe. And I love lip plumpers, so I feel like I have a pretty good idea of if they are good or not. I'm going to be rating this one to 10. I'm gonna also do a wear test, and then we will see if it lives up to the hype. I'll also do a check-in at the end of the night to give you my final review. So I have Sephora up right here so I can read you what it actually claims to do. So in the highlighted ingredients, it says, hydrating plumbing peptides give lips a full, full firmer look while supporting skin's natural moisture barrier. And then cinnamon ginger rapidly visibly volumizes while adding natural color. So that sounds good. And then, then in the what else you need to know, it says, in this hydrating high shine gloss, stimulating plant-based ingredients visibly volumize lips upon application while concentrated actives boost the look of plumpness over time. So that sounds great. I don't have anything on my lips right now, so that is what they look like. So I'm going to put this gloss on. I'll open it up so you can see. The top looks very red, but when you when I was looking at like reviews and stuff, they're all kind of like a little bit of a clear gloss. So it actually looks like that. So it doesn't look like it's like super like uh like really pigmented red, so it's just going to obviously be a gloss. And it has like a pretty big applicator, but you can see it's like not super dark. It's like jelly. So let's put it on and see what it does. Hopefully I'm doing this right because I can't really see. But you can see it gives you just like a little bit of color, which is nice. It feels really smooth and I feel like my lips feel super smooth. It's a little bit thicker than some glosses. It's not like that like real thin like oily base, but I don't mind that. I think it feels very nice. So I'm going to let this sit on for about five minutes and then we'll come back and see if it looks any different. So one more look. And then we'll see if it plumps it up in a few minutes. All right, so I put a little bit more on because in the directions it says use a generous amount and I felt like I didn't put enough on um, when I was putting it on in the viewfinder. But this is what they look like after like five to 10 minutes. They feel very smooth and like soft and they, I feel like it like filled in like the little lines in my lips, which I like. The burn level, I bought this because I thought that the, like when I read about it, that people were saying that it like really burned their lips. And I feel like no lip plumper is really like burn my lips anymore. I think just because I've gotten used to them. So I would say this is probably like a two out of 10 with the burn level. It just feels like a little bit cinnamony, but it does feel like it's like plumping them up, which I really like. I am going to be going to like a little holiday party thing tonight, but when I come home, I will give my final review. But so far it feels like it's going to stay on my lips nice. And I think it would even look more plump if I used a lip liner. So, and normally I do just to like make my lips look a little bit nicer. So maybe I'll put a lip liner on and see how that works. And I can let you guys know once I get home how that works. But so far I would, I would say I really like it. And, oh, I forgot to mention earlier the price. It is $24 at Sephora. So I will see you guys tonight once I get home for my final review. All right guys, we are home now. We're gonna do a little lip update. So the lip gloss lasted a very long time. It lasted for, I would say like a couple hours. Obviously it came off when I was eating, but I feel like it makes your lips feel very smooth, very like there's no lines in them or anything. I put a little bit more on when we got home just for the sake of the video. But I feel like it stayed on really nice. It's a little bit thicker than a lot of other lip plumbers that I've tried. So it does stay on and I like that formula better than like the really thin ones that you feel like are off in 10 minutes. So that was good. I think the only thing that I would say is I it's not as stingy as I thought it was going to be when I read other people's reviews or watch other people's videos. But I think it's just because I use lip plumpers all the time. So my lips are very used to it. Maybe if you're not used to it, you would feel it a ton, but I do really like it and I do think that I would repurchase it. So I'm giving this one a nine out of 10, but if you want me to do any other first impressions on any beauty products, just let me know and I would do that. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys all in my next one.